Steel Siege and it's here! Finally! Haas, as they were last year, decided to be the first ones to launch their new livery for the, uh, ahead of the new season. And here it is! Here is the livery that Haas will be running on the VF23. I will say in the photos we got, I do not know if this is the 2023 car or if it's a 2022 car. Personally, I think it might be the 2022 car in the photos, but if, if someone knows for certain if this is the 2022 car or 2023 car in the picture, then please let me know down below in the comments. But I really, really like this. I, I really like this livery. It's a big step up from last year. You know, of course, Haas with the new title sponsor, MoneyGram, of course, the livery was going to be a bit different. And I like what they've done. I like that they've introduced black again onto the livery because it just looks better. There, there was something about the white and the red just the white and the red last year that just didn't quite sit with me you know it just didn't quite feel right it didn't quite look right it looked a bit plain if you know what i mean like sometimes a bit of a plain livery can look good but on the Haas last year the vf22 just didn't look good and whereas with Haas's new title sponsor as i said the, the livery was always going to change a bit this year and they've done a really good job on it the, the liver whoever designed this livery did a really really good job i like the way that the kind of white at the front kind of just leads into the black at the back um, touches of red, of course, here and there on front wing, um, rear wing, a couple of small lines here and there as well on the front nose, a little bit on the side pods as well, um, alongside the white there. Someone maybe say they could have done a little bit more red, but and to be fair, I would say that, but also maybe with the big MoneyGram logo on the side in red, then perhaps that would have been a bit too much red. I feel like they've gotten, sure, they could have put a bit more red on it, um, but I feel like they've struck a nice balance I feel with the red um, to the black and the white on the livery. It, it looks really really good. We're off to a strong start here. The view of the livery head on it's not really my favorite view of the car. It doesn't look too... The front, the view nose on doesn't look brilliant. However, the side view or a view from like an angled view from one of the corners right or left or the front, that looks really really good. Um, and yeah, my first impressions of this car, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now, I will say my hopes for Haas this season are not very high. They're about, my hopes for Haas this year are about kind of where they were last year. Midfield, if you know what I mean, that's kind of my hopes. They finished, what, 8th in the Constructors last year. My expectations for Haas aren't too high, you know, I don't think they're gonna come in and dominate the midfield. They could! God knows they could. Um, but I don't know, it's just... They've got two good drivers, K-Mag is good, the Hulk is good, I mean, neither of them are world class and that's no offense to them. You know, they, they've both taken unexpected, they've both been on pole before, rather ironically it was both times in Brazil, rather unexpectedly, uh, but Brazil pulled aside. You know, they're good drivers but they're not world class if you know what I mean. Uh, that's no offense to either driver. Uh, that's just my personal views here. But, and, and the Hulk, I mean, yes I'm sure he can do good this season, but he has been out of the game for three seasons now. He's coming back in after, you know, three seasons where I don't think he was really doing any racing. Aside from those few times when he stepped in at a racing point in Aston Martin. I don't think he was doing any full-time racing the last couple of years. Uh, maybe, maybe he was and I just never saw. But I don't think he was. But time will tell on whether he was the right choice instead of Mick Schumacher who... You have to imagine, he could have been better this year than he was last year. He surely would have been better this year than he was last year. Well, yes, last season when he did make some mistakes and we don't know what was going on behind the scenes of Haas. Last year was kind of the first time where he had a competitive car. A midfield competitive, that is. Time will tell on whether Haas made the right choice going for Nico Hulkenberg over Mick Schumacher. Um, who, as I said, I'm sure he would have improved this year. I mean, look at him at the Race of Champions just a couple of weeks, uh, like last weekend, rather. Uh, he got to the final of the Champions of Champions race on the Sunday. Look, and he was doing brilliantly that day. But what do you think? What's your rating of ha the Haas VF23 livery? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below. And what's your expectations for Haas this year? How do you think they'll do? I'm not going to be making a predictions video this year, just to say, uh, mainly because I don't want to fucking jinx anything. I will, in my livery reaction videos here, be giving a couple thoughts on, you know, the team season ahead, but I'm not making any solid predictions because I don't want to jinx anything. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.